Okay, so over the winter, I slaved and I saved up enough money to purchase a $7,000 PPG transmission. I don't even have a vehicle that's worth $7,000, so that makes me a little sick to my stomach, but the deed is done. Our first event is in three days. So while this is off, uh, we capped that and that, which were little like cooling jackets for some stock application stuff that we do not need. Also got that backside done. Um, there are only two vacuum sources on this. There's this one and actually no, that one might not, that one goes to something else. So we got to cap that one too. So we have this one. And so I went to the neighbors and he had these two tiny little aluminum nipples and I'm going to put them not there. I'm gonna put them like up here or back here or something like this. Cause we got, let's see, we need blow off valve to come from one. We have fuel pressure regulator. That's gonna go to the other one. I swear I had like six T's going all kinds of places. So, so I gotta cut that one off yet and cap it. Weld those on, we're gonna sandblast this thing and then we're gonna powder coat it black real quick since it's out. And then I think I'm also going to blast and powder coat this i do like the purple but it doesn't flow with the colors we have and this will take an extra three minutes to sandblast and powder coat the new transmission is in the trunk of my car went to max and morgan's last night and he bought some uh, speed factory springs which i'm glad i took it there because it was a little bit of rocket science for me you take this whole shift assembly out and then it makes um, kind of makes it going into gear a lot sharper and snappier and these three bolts here, there's a spring under each one of those. And so 
This one is, I believe, forward and back is what that spring helps with. And then these three help with the side to side being a little stiffer and sharper. So those are all in the new transmission outside. Um, so we just need to wrap up what we're doing here and then we can take this apart, slap the new one on, put it all back together. I have a different fuel pressure regulator because that one was not, that one was decreasing fuel pressure according to the gauge when boost was applied, which is the opposite of what that's supposed to do. So we got to switch that out as well.
speed round. Let me go over what we changed because we did a lot. Let's start with the oil line. Before I had a dash 12 line that was just pressed over the AN fittings and it leaked. Now it's real, so it doesn't leak. Obviously, turbo's new. This is a 67 mil. It is way bigger than uh, the previous turbo we had on it. We have the new manifold that I made. Yay. We had to tweak this intercooler pipe a little bit because there's a little sensor under here and the wires were a little stretched. They are no longer stretched. We welded this to that so there wasn't a two inch hose connecting them. Cleaned it up a little bit. Got rid of the big bulkhead here. I don't know if you guys remember, but we could not see this much of the transmission. Obviously, we put a new transmission in this thing. So this transmission only has gears one through four, and then in place of fifth gear is what's called a cuff. Uh, it has a Quaif LSD and a PPG final drive, all the goodies. A new fuel pressure regulator. We powder coated this, 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 and that. Uh, I capped off a bunch of stuff on the fuel rail. We capped off a bunch of coolant stuff on the intake manifold. Added the two nipples on the back for some vacuum lines. Uh, we shortened these hoses a little bit. These bungs were on this side and now they are here. So a little bit better flow. Shout out to Hux Racing because they were our first sponsors. This SWAT kit, these mounts right here are from them. They are the dudes. They made all of this happen when it first started. So thank you to them once again. Here's the exhaust. I'm gonna keep this part the same, but where it exits out of the bottom, if you remember, we had that like Pagani style four tip. That keeps scraping on the ground every time I unload and load off the trailer. So I think we're gonna switch that up so that'll be um, a quick tidbit in the next video. Everything else up here I do believe is the same. The shifter feels nice and crispy. It just, oh, it just, oh, it's so good. Uh, I got a little bit of body work to do on that because I may or may not have rear-ended BMW at Bandemir. Don't worry about it, I'll fix it. All right, listen to my face because I'm gonna address the ignorant, tiny brain little trolls that like to comment on videos. So uh, we're taking the bug to PFI to tune it. Why? Because PFI are our friends and they rock. We took Mina Civic to Morgan because Morgan is our friend and Morgan rocks. There were comments and I texted Brent, I knew this was gonna happen. So I texted Brent and Jamie uh, days before the and I was like, heads up, um, the ignorant sausages are gonna come out of the woodworks and say some stuff. We're gonna take Mina Civic up to the dyno with Morgan because he's already tuning his car and it works out very conveniently for us time-wise. PFI had just gotten back from Indy. They are busy, we're busy. This just worked out time-wise. I swear, these guys just see, wait, why no PFI? They must hate PFI, PFI must hate them. Hatred, I'm gonna comment this and see if I can get six likes. Kudos, congratulations, I hope it worked out the way you planned it would and I hope you can retire off of those likes on your comments, but you can't. There's some other comments saying like, oh, PFI would have figured out the issue. PFI would have figured out the issue that Mina did that Mina didn't know that he did. No one knew what Mina did. Mina didn't know what Mina did and every issue that we had on the dyno was a fault of our own, not of Morgan's. PFI would PFI is probably relieved that they didn't have to deal with us <laughs> that go around and have to endure the Bucky Bronco syndrome that Morgan had to endure. Comprende, you follow what I'm saying? You guys think of the first thing that hits the tip of your tiny little ignorant brain and just spurt out bleh. And in reality, guys, this is like, there were like 10 comments that were stupid and the rest of you I know are intelligent individuals like myself. But I wanted to address it because Morgan tunes his eight and a half second car. He also tunes Max's eight and a half second car. He also tunes Travis's, and Travis's is arguably the most reliable mid nine second Civic out of our entire flock that we race with. He is very capable of tuning perhaps our high nine second Civic because he tunes his 1200 horsepower Civic on the dyno and then they turn it up at the track and we're trying to make a clean 800. He's very capable, he's very smart. There is no rivalry, there is no drama, there is no bleh. I text Brent, I'm like, hey, when's a good time to come up and tune the bug? He's like, sweet, I'd love to help. Almost like nothing happened, because nothing happened. You trolls hide deep in the dark crevices of the internet and you pop out when you think it's suitable for you. Okay, now the news. We did not make it to the event. I wanted to take my time and I did so. Also, if anyone can break a $7,000 transmission, that would be myself. So the plan is, um, we got these hubs torn off. Dennis is uh, doing his thing and he's gonna put these inside of what was there so that these fit inside the hole. Uh, after that is done, we will go to PFI, we will get a tune. After that, uh, next Wednesday, so six days from now, is the next test and tune. I would like to practice so that I don't grenade everything that I worked all winter for. After that, uh, so eight days from now, is the first event where I will get my butt handed to me, but we are gonna drive the car 
and if all goes to plan, there will be a wheelie. Last year, we were able to accomplish approximately quarter inch wheelies, which it counts. If there's light underneath the tire, it counts as a wheelie, I win. But this year, I'm hoping that we can put the headlights up to the sky, maybe blind some pigeons or something like that. I'm gonna elaborate more on this later, but I'm gonna keep this short because that's enough of me talking. Um, we have an event coming up that's gonna alter whether or not we do YouTube or not. So over the next four months, we are gonna go to town and we're gonna push as hard as we can. I'm already a little sleep deprived if you can't tell. That's why I'm a little razzled and I'm a little juiced up. I have not had six Red Bulls today. I would never do that. Um, so we're gonna work hard. I've been getting here early. My alarm is set for 4 a.m. every morning. That doesn't always happen, but sometimes it does. And at the latest, I'm here by about 6.30. Usually it's between five and 5.30. So I'm feeling pretty good about that. I have a lot of work that I have to do over here to make money to do what we do over here. And so we're gonna try and do everything that we can to push YouTube really, really hard so that it can start paying for some of the bills so that I don't have to do that over there. Because imagine if I could work 80 hours a week on this stuff instead of working 70 hours a week over there and then drizzling maybe 10 hours a week on the YouTube content. I need to get a Costco membership for the Red Bulls. That would help. The point of all this is we need to make money. And so we need to get YouTube to a point where it is making a feasible amount of money, where it could actually be a sustainable income. If not, I need to focus on what does make money. So we're going to push really, really hard because I don't want to sand for the rest of my life, but I could definitely build weird cars for the rest of my life. So if you guys want to support us, Patreon link is in the description. There's a handful of shirts on the website. We just came out with new Jeep shirts. If you guys want to buy one of those, there's only one fuel line left on that thing. And then it's going to roll across the parking lot to Dennis's and then it'll get wrapped up, but I just, I have to choose which one I work on and the bug one. They rock, paper, scissored and Jeep's butt hurt, but it's all good. Dino, practice, go to an event, get my butt handed to me, but do a wheelie. That's all that matters. I think I covered everything. Uh, we'll see you next week.